Hello, this is Matthew Kruger, and I'd like to present my technique for horizontal chopping. Where I trained horizontal chop was not taught in terms of primary horizontal chop, and so I learned by trial and error and watching videos. Although videos can be helpful, sometimes the action happens pretty fast and it's difficult to tell exactly what's going on, and it's not taught in a step-by-step -step fashion. Here, I'd like to t show you how to do this in a step-by-step -step fashion so that it's easy to do every case. Remember, you want to do this one step at a time to make it very simple. The first step is to clear out the anterior epinucleus overlying the nucleus and then make a quick tunnel near the phaco incision on sculpt. Second, place the chopper into the eye. Keep the tip of the chopper on the endonucleus so that when you pass it out you stay underneath the capsule and then hook the nucleus. And then finally you can place the phaco tip into the pothole, add vacuum if you need, and then chop. Here we show the phaco tip removing the anterior epinucleus, and once this is done in the area of the capsule rexus, which is stained here, I will make a little tunnel on sculpt here, and you can see the lens milk coming out. I'll go all the way into the tip of the phaco that's buried all the way to the sleeve, and then ask the assistant for the chopper. This is a dotted horizontal chopper. I'll place it out underneath the rexus, and then chop. Without moving the phaco tip, I'll then hook the nucleus again and then make the first piece. It's important to pull these apart to make sure that it's fully separated. If you don't do that, they'll get stuck and it'll be hard to pull out the first fragment. Once you've confirmed it's free, you can then go in and pull out the first fragment pretty easily and then keep repeating this process. We'll show another few videos here. Again, the anterior epinucleus is removed so that you can see the nucleus. Again, we're interested in chopping the nucleus and not the epinucleus. And so once this is cleared out, you'll have great visualization of the nucleus. And then I will use the phaco tip to make a little pothole or a tunnel here. You can see the lens milk again coming out and showing the lens is fairly dense. And this gives you an idea if you'll need vacuum or how much vacuum to add. Again, one step at a time. So we'll leave the chopper out of this until this is all set up. We'll then ask the assistant for the chopper. Again, this is a horizontal chopper. We'll touch the nucleus and then push it out over the edge of it. You'll see the chopper drop in. And once it's placed, chop straight into the pre-placed tunnel and then split it. Make sure that it's totally split. There's no more adhesions. And then without moving the phaco tip, again, chop out the next segment and then it's free. In this case, you'll show that, see that there'll be a little bit of an attachment when you first try and grab it. And if that happens, you can just go back right into the trough and split and make sure that they're totally separated. Confirm that visually. And then once again, pull out the first piece to emulsify, and then this process is repeated. We'll show this in four more videos just to make this as simple as possible. Again, here's the third case. This is about a 3 plus NSC. We will again sculpt out the anterior epinucleus so that we can visualize the nucleus, which is the part that we're interested in chopping. Then we'll make our little tunnel with the phaco tip, go straight in on sculpt. And you'll see the nucleus has uh, quite a bit of lens milk come out. That's showing that it's fairly dense. This is a case you probably want to consider using some vacuum on, although you do not always need to use vacuum. We'll place the chopper. We'll touch the tip to the nucleus, pass it out underneath the capsule, and then put the phaco tip into the hole, and then chop. And you'll see this is a fairly dense lens. There's quite a bit of resistance here as you pull in, but you just take your time, go very slow, keep pulling in together. You'll see the nucleus rotating. But as you get closer to the phaco tip with the chopper, it does crack, and then you can confirm that it separates by seeing the nice red reflex. Again, we'll place the chopper, then we'll place the phaco tip in the same spot, and then chop out the first quadrant. Now this is a pretty big piece, and so it's, I decided to sub-chop this again into eighths, and so you can see that that's been done, and then you can go ahead and purchase that first piece. It's important on a dense nucleus to have a smaller piece for your first piece instead of a full quadrant, as this will be hard to remove. But you can see how easily this then pulls up and then you can emulsify, and then you can get the next eighth that's already been chopped. So again, the deep bench of the nucleus, the smaller the pieces you want to do to bring up as they're easier to emulsify. Here's another dense lens. The capsule has been stained so you can see it. So in the area of the capsule rexus, we'll remove all of the interior epinucleus so we can see it. This improves the safety and the visualization so we know exactly where to place the chopper. As long as you push the chopper out through the anterior epinucleus, you'll know that you're underneath the capsule every time. I think the only dangerous part of chopping really is the danger of hitting the anterior capsule with the horizontal chop motion, but 
that really is impossible as long as you touch the tip of the chopper onto the nucleus surface and push it out through the anterior epinucleus and you'll know you're behind. Okay, here's another dense lens. We'll just take our time and slowly push in to the phaco tip. And as you approach it, you'll see the lens start to crack, and that's your cue to start pulling the pieces apart to make sure they're fully cracked. And then without even moving the phaco tip, you can go straight back in to the next section and chop, pulling out the first piece. Here's about one-sixth of the nucleus. Again, this is a denser nucleus, so you don't want to pull out a full quadrant. You probably want to stick with an eighth or a sixth of the lens to make these pieces manageable to get them through the capsular rexus. Here's another section. You'll see, again, we'll start out clearing the anterior epinucleus. You're getting the drift that every time is the same steps. Clear out the anterior epinucleus. This is one step at a time. Make your little pothole. And again, that's just done on sculpt. You buzz straight in. You don't want to go to the left. You don't want to go to the right. Just straight down. And you want to get deep. You want to get all the way down to the bottom of the sleeve to make sure that you're deep into the nucleus. Typically, the problems with chopping that people encounter with horizontal chopping is that they'll be chopping the anterior nucleus and it won't crack fully. As long as you get your chopper deep, here as you see it's hooked, and as long as you get your phaco tip deep, this should chop every time, even on extremely dense lenses. This lens is a little softer, but again you'll see that we don't even move the phaco tip for the first piece. We'll just pass it out a second time, get about one-sixth of the lens, and you can see how quickly it's removed. And as soon as this is done, typically the nucleus is defeated. Now we have a couple more videos to show uh, how this technique works well on Soft cases, again the anterior nucleus, epinucleus, sorry, is removed, we buzz in, and then the chopper is placed out over the nucleus, touching the tip of the chopper to the anterior nucleus, and then the two pieces are brought together. You do not need any vacuum for these soft ones, but they are often sticky, so you really want to spend some time and really pull it apart so that you don't have any attachments that will resist uh, aspirating these pieces and bringing them out of the bag. And you can see this is a, a very soft lens. Horizontal chop is a great technique for soft lenses, even down to trace nuclear sclerotic cataracts. You can typically slice them up and all the way out to four plus NSCs. It's a very uh, versatile amount of chopping. You can see here the chopper is a great lens rotator as well. And this just shows a second chop, just passing it out, using the tip to stabilize it. You don't even need vacuum. But again, since it's sticky, you really want to focus on separating. Overall, I hope these video clips have help show how easy horizontal chopping can be when you set it up one step at a time. That's the key thing. Just do one step at a time until you're better, and then you can do two things at a time. But the three steps are clear out the epinucleus, make the tunnel, place the chopper, keep the chopper underneath the capsule, and then bring them together. I hope this will help you with your chopping in the future.